All right. This is the spiritual transition game. This is the part of the time of those who watch live at the Striving for Eternity Academy at strivingforeternityacademy.org. Those who watch live, you get to give me something you think I cannot transition to the gospel. And so they give me things in the chat. We then have to do a transition from whatever I'm given to the gospel message. Now, the way this game works is this way, and it's a fun game to play with friends, is you call someone out, in this case you guys are calling, well, me out, and I have to transition to the gospel. Now, you can be nicer and let someone just do a spiritual transition, just anything on a spiritual, they could talk, uh, transition it to the Bible, transition it to anything spiritual. I have to specifically get to a gospel presentation. And the thing is that the more you play this, the better you get, and you no longer need to say, Lord, please give me an opportunity to share the gospel with someone. No, you can learn to take anything from the natural world and transition it to the spiritual. The better you get at this, the easier it becomes. The way you play this game, it becomes a lot of fun if you play with a lot of people because a lot of different people have different ideas. And today, I am going to transition. <laughs> you would, Okay, I have the topic of holiday house guests. <laughs> So, do you think you would be able to transition from holiday house guests to the gospel? Well, here's my shot at it. Uh, holiday house guests. So, I'm sure many people have experienced at the holidays where they have family, maybe friends, maybe that unwanted aunt and uncle or someone that is coming to the holidays and you just don't know what to do. It, it can be... The holidays are actually, it's kind of an interesting thing, holidays are supposed to be a time where people, well, they are supposed to enjoy one another's company, but instead what we find is typically, well, people usually don't like having all the company over. It becomes a lot of work, and well, sometimes you deal with those pesky relatives you don't want to deal with. You know, the reality is, is there are times in life where we deal with things we just don't want to have to deal with. There's times in life where we just say, you know what, I, I don't like this situation, but it's something I have to deal with. Have you ever experienced that? Maybe not just with relatives or, or holiday guests that come over, but in other areas of life, there's times we have to deal with things that are just unexpected. Sometimes things we just don't want to deal with. So one of the reasons, you know, people who suffer from cancer, it becomes a difficult thing for doctors because people just don't want to hear it and they don't know what to deal with it. And so because they don't want to deal with it, they just tune it out sometimes. Well, you know, there's areas in our life that are like that, just like those unwanted sometimes pesky holiday house guests that come in and, well, destroy your house. In my case, it's not always the, the, the pesky holiday ones. Sometimes it's just when the kids come home <laughs> and all of a sudden my house is all filled with their stuff all over. I, I kind of like my house nice and clean, so when they leave, it's kind of nice I get to get my house back. And we have to deal with these sort of things. I love having them home, though. But, uh, but the thing is this. What we end up finding out is that there are things in life we don't want to deal with. And one of the things we most often don't want to deal with is the question of what happens a second after we die. One second after you and I die, we're going to face God and He is going to judge us. He's either going to judge us as innocent or guilty. There's an easy way to know what that judgment's going to be. Even though we don't like this, I agree, none of us like it. It's God's Himself as the standard. He is the basis of morality. So the things that are a violation of His nature are what's called sin, guilty, if we do those things. Things like lying and stealing. Things that are against his nature. And when we lie and steal, we make ourselves guilty and criminals in God's sight. We don't like that. But the good news is God made a way of escape. God himself came to earth. Being a man, he could pay the fine for men. Being God, he can pay the eternal fine. And so God, the God-man, came to earth, died on a cross as a payment of sin so that you and I could be set free. But we have to stop trusting ourselves as a good person. Stop trusting that, that we could have a good nature. We have to trust not our good works, but Christ's good work, what He did on the cross, and what God did alone as a payment for our sin. That's the way that we can have eternal life. And that would be my transition from holiday guests to the gospel. How would you go about doing it? Share that with us and share that with